Hey guys, just wanted to make a real quick video. So Millet and I picked up this used Samsung stove, oven stove, because ours had bit the dust and uh, we got it used and it didn't take us long to realize that immediately we started bumping into these. And as soon as you bump them, they'd be, you'd accidentally turn them on or we would accidentally turn them on and it became like a major hazard. It all, uh, we've only had it for probably a month or not even probably three weeks, but I was like, I have to solve it or I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Because I was like, at night I would go to sleep. Like I remember one night I was laying in bed and I texted Asa, I was like, hey, uh, there's a pot on the stove still. Can you go pull it off? Cause I was worried about it burning overnight or making a fire. And sometimes like somebody will leave a pan up here. And if that thing gets left on, you could have a fire. So I couldn't relax. So I was like, I gotta figure out a way to solve this. And uh, I looked up and they make special uh, like tamper proof things for kids. Guess what? They don't fit this stove. They don't fit this Samsung. Probably because just the way the knobs are. Samsung hasn't really addressed it. Uh, what they've basically said is you can get tamper proof knobs, but that won't really solve the problem. If you look right here, these knobs are like, you have to, they're like a two function knob. You have to push in and turn to turn them on. Well, it's really easy to do that. Like any kind of bump, any, anything will turn these on. The way it works is this is just a knob. There's no actual uh, mechanism in here, but in here there's a spring and you have to spring that in before it'll turn. Well, that spring is not very strong. If I was Samsung, I would have done a recall probably and figured out a way to increase the uh, resistance of that spring. Um, you could, they could have opened this up and made that thing a lot harder to push before it'll turn. But I found a hack that made it work and it was super cheap and I'll show you guys how to do it in just a second. So I realized I had to increase the resistance of how hard it is to push in on the knob. I was like, what can I put in there that will kind of create that resistance and act like a spring? So this is cheap foam mat. They sell it at Harbor Freight. It's like seven bucks, I think, for a pack of four. It used to be cheaper, but things are getting a little bit more expensive. Anyway, it's dirt cheap. Uh, any kind of foam like this will work. This is a closed cell foam, but you're just looking for something. I guess this is probably half an inch thick. Um, that'll work. Anyway. The kids use this for cosplay. I buy it for them and they build all kinds of crud out of it. Not just cosplay, all kinds of things. It has little edges that like they end up throwing away. So the tools you'll need is a pair of scissors and anything that's pokey, which so like basically super basic tools. Um, I took a piece of this and I'll show you what I did. So I literally took a piece of this, cut it off. Oh, that fell on the floor. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Thanks. Thanks, Ezra. So I uh, took a little chunk of this, cut it off, and then normally I'd be doing this with two hands, but I basically made a hole right in the middle. Like that, as simple as that. Don't drive it through into your hand, see? Don't do that. Anyway, look, there's a hole in the middle. Simple enough. Then you take this piece of foam and you pull this knob off. Burp. And you put it on there. Put it over the thingy like that. Put this thing on, push it in there nice and snug. And lo and behold, now you have to put a nice amount of force on there to turn it on. Is it like a common problem that everybody just burns their house down and stuff? With I don't those? know if they burn their house down, but they definitely turn them on. It's like a thing you see on Reddit or something? I've just seen it after I looked it up on the internet, other people. Oh, so it's like actually a thing. It's a thing. We've turned it on so many times. I'm still in a onesie. What are you wearing at 12, 15 in the afternoon? Oh, we all I'm tired. That. That's it? That's all you have to say? <laughs> yeah. If you need to adjust it, the more of this foam, if you cut the foam bigger, like it takes up more of the circle, it creates more resistance that has to be squeezed down to push it in, or if you make it smaller, it's less resistant. So you can literally adjust how hard it is to push those knobs in and turn by how much foam you have occupying 
the circle of the knob. So that's it. Like I cut mine like medium size. All my knobs are pretty hard to turn on, which like, like I said, I haven't had any problems bumping them on since then. It also conveniently makes it a child-proof situation where kids can't oh, really- I can do it. There you go. But how old are you? Eight. Eight. You think you could do that if you were four? No. I don't think so either. I have to push with like all my body. My hand. <laughs> you hurt your hand doing it? Yeah. I'm happy. I'm kind of a worry wart, so now I don't worry about this at night. So if you're like me and you don't want to worry anymore about this one thing, because I'll worry about other things, solve that problem. Good luck, people. Hope that helps. I made four of those, stuck them on all four knobs, and we have not had any accidental turn-ons since I did that. It's been on for, I don't know, probably four or five days now, maybe four days. Um, and it feels like it's safe now. Um, obviously, I'm not like, you know, do this at your own risk. It's your responsibility if you uh, burn your house down. But I think you're much less likely to burn your house down with that under there. Because now they don't turn on when you bump them. Like I can bump into them burp, 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 and nothing turns on. If you have one of these Samsungs, I guarantee that you've accidentally bumped into them and turned them on. And I don't think you'll do that after you do this. Uh, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to those crazy currents. Uh, sometimes we do DIY stuff. Most of the time we just do family fun stuff, but we do whatever, we make stuff. So anyway, see you guys next time. Hope that helps.